The 15th of January, 1985. In the town of Severomorsk, in Murmansk Oblast, three Soviet submarine captains meet in a private room above a bar. Glasses of vodka are poured. Outside, the snow is falling particularly thick this year. The ringleader of the three is Captain Oleg Morozov. He commands K-431, a Delta-class ballistic missile submarine that carries 16 nuclear warheads. His companions are Kolya Mikhailov and Vikenty Nikitin, each of whom command the Victor-class attack submarines assigned as K-431's escort. It is clear to all three of them that the Soviet Union is losing the war, and much quicker than even the West realises. It's also clear to them that the Warsaw Pact, and even the USSR itself, is unlikely to survive this conflict. Factions within the military are already forming, and internal conflict is brewing at an alarming rate. These three, however, are not on anyone's side. They're on their own. Morozov has lost three brothers in the Navy since the war began, and the other two have suffered similar personal losses. Morozov's father before him fought at Stalingrad during the Great Patriotic War, and to see his country on the brink of total collapse after so much sacrifice by his generation and his father's is almost too much to bear. Mikhailov and Nikitin are of similar mind. A plan begins to form. It is a desperate plan of vengeance, and one which none of them expect to survive, but all of them agree something must be done, something drastic, to reverse the fortunes of the war. Between the three of them, and the willing and like-minded officers aboard their submarines, they possess the means to change the balance of power, if they are willing to do what is necessary. On the 4th of February, K-431 and her escort set sail from Severomorsk towards the polar ice caps, where as usual they will wait in silence, in case the signal comes from Moscow to launch. The signal will not come, however, and Oleg Morozov knows this. Even as he sails northwards, a coup is taking place in Moscow, and the hardliners are being removed from power at the point of a gun. Soon enough, he receives the signal to abort his voyage and return to Russia. He ignores it. There is one problem, however. Morozov, Nikitin, and Mikhailov are not alone. The Red Fleet has assigned them an additional escort, K-65, an Alpha-class attack submarine commanded by Captain Lyosha Popov. Popov is an experienced commander, having squared off successfully against NATO submarines multiple times in this conflict, managing to use the Alpha's incredible underwater speed to great effect against his opponents. But he's not part of the conspiracy, and now represents a serious problem. Morozov plans to sail north, ignoring his orders until he is in firing range of the continental United States. He will then send a message to Moscow informing them of his plans, allowing them 10 minutes to inform the US government of what has happened before he fires his missiles. This will, he hopes, be sufficient time for the message to be conveyed, but not long enough for any airborne or submarine assets to be scrambled to intercept him before it's too late. Now, however, the presence of Commander Popov's submarine threatens to derail the entire plan. As the order to turn back arrives, Popov begins to change course, but notices that none of the others have done so. Morozov makes his decision, and orders his weapons officer to fire a spread of torpedoes at Popov. The officer hesitates a moment, and then conveys the order to his men. The first fish leaves the tube, but the spread is halted as the fire control system operator, a man named Pyotr Kozlov, begins to protest, asking, Who are we firing at? There are no enemy vessels here. Are we firing on our own men? Morozov orders him relieved of duty, but a struggle quickly breaks out. Popov, meanwhile, has observed the other subs continuing northwards, and his gut instinct that something is wrong is immediately confirmed when his sonar apparatus report a torpedo launch from K-431. He orders the sub to flank speed and down to maximum safe depth. Back in the control room of K-431, Captain Morozov draws his sidearm and forces Kozlov out of the room. His replacement completes the firing sequence, but by this time, the delay has given Popov precious time to go evasive, and with K-65's incredible top speed of 41 knots, there is now no hope of catching him. Morozov orders maximum speed northwards, hoping he can still get into a firing position before the government in Moscow is alerted. At 2300 hours Zulu time, President Reagan is informed by the new government in Moscow that one of their ballistic missile submarines has seemingly gone rogue and is headed for the polar ice caps. 
they are willing to commit to a temporary ceasefire and allow NATO assets to assist them in locating and sinking K-431 and her escorts. The Red Fleet is already looking for them, but with their forces completely gutted by the war, they have very few fast attack submarines left that are capable of searching the area in time. A flurry of telephone calls ensue, after which the Secretary of Defense informs the President that only one NATO submarine in operational range of the Arctic is due to come up to communications depth within the next 10 minutes. S-88, the Royal Navy's own HMS Tireless, which is currently hunting a wolf pack of Soviet diesel submarines near Iceland. The President's reaction to finding out that the only thing potentially standing between him and complete disaster is, as he puts it, one goddamn limey sub, does not bear repeating in polite company. The US Navy surface fleet scrambles every anti-submarine warfare asset it has available in the direction of the Barents Sea, but if K-431 has already made it to deep water under the polar ice, it may be in vain. The hunt is on. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back once again to the marvellous game that is Cold Waters, where this week our current mission is to go to Hoffen, hang around off the coast there and wait for some Soviet submarines attempting to drop off some Spetsnaz. I don't really know why they're dropping them off there exactly. Maybe to try and disable an airbase or something, because they've already disabled the Sosas net here. But um, yeah, maybe they're, uh, maybe they're trying to disable an airbase. Because there might be an airbase at Hoffen. I'm not sure. Because uh, I've never really paid attention to where these aircraft come out. But I think they do actually might potentially come out of these uh, little dots on the map here. So maybe that's it. Although, if that were the case, why isn't there like a dot up here for RAF kin loss? I don't know. Anyway, um, whatever. They're, they're trying to attack Hoffen with some uh, Spetsnaz. Apparently, anyway. Apparently. It hasn't happened in this campaign yet, but what can sometimes happen is it turns out the intel was faulty and you actually get uh, the tasks cancelled. Um, it'd be interesting if that was the case here because, as far as I can tell, there seems to be no real benefit for them to attack the place, but we'll see. Um, so we need to get our asses over there and uh, do something about this. I don't think that's them. Those guys are headed for the Atlantic and I'm going to avoid them for now. Um, I know what the brief is, but I'd like to have a look at the EXO status report. I need to refresh my memory on how we're doing here. Right, hull's in good condition, everything, all us, all systems functional. And we have a belly full of tiger fish. Okay, nothing to worry about then. I, I couldn't remember how much we had in the way of armament left after the previous mission. But I think we're fine. In the previous mission, the, uh, of course, if you may, you may recall, the, our tiger fish embarrassed us even more than usual. <laughs> Encountered two foxtrots and a Romeo, and the tigerfish did a magnificent job of not sinking them. This might be them inbound this way, actually. Uh, is this guy? Is this plane going to pick them up? No. This enemy patrol group is zigzagging around, probably looking for us. Those guys. Is this you? Is this them? I reckon it might be. Try and engage them in slightly deeper water. Okay, close to 20 kilometers. Uh, very strong th surface depth, very strong thermal layer. Interesting. Could use that to our advantage, potentially. Our speed is nice and slow, our depth is 15 meters. All right. We got everything we want loaded, we do. Close in. Okay. I'm going to put up the mast, the radar mast, that is to say, just to make sure we don't get any false positives here. I'm going to deploy our toad array, rivet, and I'm just going to turn to the side there, but I think I'll just keep pointed in this direction for now. Okay, we've we've gone a little bit of oh dear. I said periscope depth, guys. I did not say surface the but. Whoa! Okay. Fun times are happening now. Have a spread, boys. 
Have we launched all of them? Are they all going? Okay, a couple of trawlers. The rest is going to be subs. We track the toad array. Where's the seafloor today? Nice and deep. Take us down to Funky Town. Retract the toad array, boys. Retract it. I did tell you to do so. God damn it. I, I hit backspace. I did. I swear to God. Apparently we should not have closed to 20 kilometers. I reckon it's because I accidentally surfaced. I reckon that made some noise or something and they heard us. How much do you want to bet? I am absolutely furious about that. I, I, I did not press surface. I pressed friggin' periscope depth. I do not know what happened there. I pressed periscope depth and it serviced the boat and I retracted the toad array and it didn't retract. Oh, I'm mad. I am mad. All right. Is there any chance of being able to identify you guys? This guy may be, actually. Con sonar, Sierra That's a Foxtrot. Is classified as a submerged submarine. Well, that's good news, at least. I'd rather it was a Foxtrot than anything else. Come left There's a tango two. out there, though. That's going to make me very nervous. Course. Ring ship for ultra quiet. All right. Come left Slow us down. Two, turn zero, us to the right. Three, uh, left nine. even. <laughs> Sorry, not left. Port. Con sonar regained contact. Con helm steady course. I need to get a better picture of what's going on out here. They're not Con making it difficult. They are pinging contact. like champions. So. Zero, three, bearing, one, two, four. Oh look, I think it might be a tango. It's either that or a kilo. But it looks like a tango. Good! Good, good, good. It's just what I didn't want. That's... That's a whale. That is a whale. Okay. I still don't know where Sierra 2 is. And if I had to guess, that's a pair of U-set 80s inbound to my position. So... Full speed ahead. Get out of their way. I'm not having a couple of wire-guided U-set 80s on my ass. Right, maybe one of these tigerfish will get the fox trot. In fact, I'm, I'm a little worried. <laughs> I have a bad feeling that one of the tigerfish is going to get the whale, actually. Um, which is a bit of a shame. If I had to guess, I'd say the, uh, I'd say the, the, the Spetsnaz are more likely to be on board the Foxtrot, but it's impossible to say, for sure. If I'd be luckier if they're on the Tango, because it would mean the Tango has far, far fewer torpedoes to sling at me. Alright, bit of time compression, I think. All right, silent running. Come left to one, five, seven, help I want to know where everything is. Okay, we've got a couple of torpedoes messing around over here. Those would be the set 65s from the Foxtrot, I imagine. Foxtrot's moving as fast as he can. I'm trying to get out of the way of this spread I launched at him. Tango's inbound to our location as well. We need to put some we need to put some shots at the tango, really. Because I need him to go evasive as soon as possible. And um, we do have contact on Sierra 2 again, and I um as I feared, it's another it's another tango. Oh no, sorry. I, I I thought it was still on the tango. It's not, it's on blue whale. Okay, we got two another two blue whales. It is whaling season, apparently, at the moment. Guess it was just a tango and a foxtrot we're dealing with. As far as we know, anyway. I feel like this torpedo here is after me. I definitely feel like it's after me. What kind of depth are you at, my son? All right. Make depth one, 
zero, zero, dive by. Oh, this is a problem. This is a problem. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, one, two, zero. Monsieur Tango. Shoot two, For one, you, I have a gift. Measure homing. Ah, that would be one of our tigerfish. Oh, two of them, it looks like, are after the fox trial. That's good news. You know what we need? We need a moss. A moss is what we require right now. And get another one loaded. Come right to. One, seven, five, uh, five, I don't want to lose this wire, but I'm probably going to have to. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, one, one, five. Okay, the Foxtrot's still in defensive mode. Oh. Oh. Oh, you glorious bastard. You're going for the moss. Okay. We may yet survive. Silent as mice now, guys. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra, one. Last bearing, one. One, three. Contact breaking up. Okay, it looks like we got the fox drop by the sounds of it. Excellent. Yeah, down he goes. Apparently when you don't watch the tiger fish they do much better. <laughs> okay, right, he's going for the he's going for the moss. And what's he gonna do when he comes past it? Con sonar, torpedo in the water, okay. torpedo in the water, bearing zero, six, five. Come left to one, six, two, helm I. Oh, I think it's ignoring our noisemaker as well, just just for added fun. Fire control, we've lost the wire. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Okay, it exploded. Uh, that might have been. What's our depth? Oh, it wasn't a UZ eighty. He didn't fire a UZ eighty at us. Why on earth did he? Not? He fired his test seventy one. He must have done. Which means I've now lost the wire on my good tigerfish, which is a bit of a shame, but. Okay, well. Fate gave us a good dice roll there. We rolled a natural 20 on that one. Right, the tango is moving now. That's what I thought he'd probably do, which is why I... Uh, he's still pinging us. That's why I wanted to keep a wire on my uh, tigerfish, because I wanted to be able to redirect it, but there it is. Right. I'm going to keep firing these until they get a wire. There we go. Con, torpedo room, tube one ready. Con, sonar, lost contact. Master, five. Last bearing, one, one, one. Uh, contact breaking up. Oh dear, I think we might have sunk a trawler. Uh, whoops. Oh man, wrong place, wrong time, bud. I'm I'm a little surprised the uh, the tigerfish went for him actually. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, the way we'll spin this in the papers is that the Soviets are using human shield, civilian human shields for their submarines. <laughs> And regrettably, uh, a fishing trawler was sank, uh, sunk by accident. Or we'll probably just say the Soviets did it. Um, 
Yep, that's one dead trawler. I don't know what nationality it was. Didn't get a chance to look. I, I'm, I'm a little surprised the uh, the tigerfish went from. I, I figured it would go sailing straight under. I, I guess I must have launched it a bit shallower than I thought. All right, let's stay nice and quiet. He's still pinging, but he may decide to stop. I want to know exactly where everything is. What is that? Oh, that's one of our tigerfish now going active. These things, about 1.5 kilometers, right on the uh, on the seeker cone on a tigerfish. Ooh, no, no, almost three kilometers. Ooh, that one might go after him too. Uh, looks like he's firing at the moss. Oh, thank goodness for the moss, right? One of these days I'll have to try and tackle the 60s campaign and you don't get decoys in the 60s campaign. <laughs> you don't get decoys and you get you get torpedoes that are even slower than these. It's, uh, it's real hard. And you have to launch it at close range because your sensors are so crappy in 1968. You have to be, like, within two kilometers of the enemy to actually have a chance of killing him. It's really crazy. And if you want to shoot at ships, you have to use World War II Mark 16 torpedoes, which are like our Mark 8s, as in they're dumb torpedoes that just go in a straight line with no guidance. Um, I'd love... I'd absolutely love to have some British subs in the 60s campaign so I actually have a chance to use Mark 8s. That would be awesome. But at the moment, uh, not, no, I don't. Well, in this version of the mod, maybe they've changed it for later, but uh, in this version of the mod, you can only play as the Brits in the 80s. There's actually two British subs in this game. There's the there's the Trafalgar class and there's the Oberon. The Oberon is an old uh, diesel electric British sub, um, but it's not playable in campaign, sadly. You do encounter it a lot if you play as the Soviets, though. Same as the Norwegian Cobbin, actually. I'd like to play as the Norwegian Cobbin in a campaign. I think that'd be that'd be very challenging, but it'd be fun. Okay. Looks like number three is set to go active pretty soon. Gun, fire control, and it's fire. already after him. Okay, good. We don't know exactly where he is. Our solution is um, quite dramatically decayed for some reason. Gun I'm not really sure why. One. Looks like he's got at least two tigerfish after him. He might have a third over here. Might this one might be after him too. Oh wait a minute! You've acquired the moss, haven't you? You're not after the tango at all. All right. Ignore the moss. Follow that. Follow that sonar beam. Well, it's not all bad because if even if they've acquired the moss, they might they'll they'll inevitably swoop past it, miss it, and then turn back around. And in the process of doing that, they might acquire the tango. So it's not it's not all bad. Well, a, a, a decent tactic, and it's one that I've not used for a while, and I probably should, um, is to just fire a moss directly at the enemy formation and. Sometimes, um, Con, helm, steady course. admittedly, I've had more luck doing this as the Soviets than I have as the Allies. But um, sometimes the enemy will focus on the, the, the decoy, and their own torpedoes will follow them back along with the decoy towards them, and they'll sometimes get sunk by their own torps. All right, we've reacquired the tango. It looks like after him, we're we at the right depth. Almost. Just adjust this slightly. What's our depth like? I'd like to be right down at 600, if you please. Peak depth six zero zero. Die by. All right. You know what? You can you can follow the moss for a bit. I will allow it. All right. Now you need to go this way. Okay. Now I think it's acquired the tango. Wait a minute. Okay. Now that's the moss. This is a pair of tigerfish that have acquired him. All right. Now you're in there. Now you're in the proverbial poop, aren't you, Mr. Tango? You should have fired a U set eighty. That was your that was your first and possibly only mistake. Now you're going to die. Fire control, weapon acquired. 
Because this tigerfish miraculously has its wire, and which which means you are screwed, sir. See how you like this wired torpedo business. It's not fun, is it? Look, it's like no matter what you do, it's still coming for you, right? It's so annoying. Con sonar lost contact. That's Zero, right. Seven, last bearing. Zero, Down you go. Five, nine, contact breaking up. Oh, okay. Um, I believe that's all of them. Once again, the whales have displayed superior tactical knowledge of submarine uh, torpedo evasion and have both survived when the tra when the trawler did not. Look at this tactical genius right here. Oh, listen to him as well. He's singing. He's singing us the song of his people. Doing a motorbike impression right now, that's what he's doing. Can I get a video game where I just play as a whale? I'd I think I'd enjoy that. Whale RPG. Yeah. Just play as a blue whale. I think I'd like that. It'd be a stealth game, you'd have to avoid uh, Japanese whalers. Uh, right. Kind of what makes me want to play Subnautica again, actually. I think we're done here. We're not really allowed to disengage yet, but we're helm. done here. Steady course. Come left to one, nine, eight. Helm, well, we have a buggered toad array, and we're down a, quite a few tigerfish, Con, but it could be very much worse. Con, torpedo room, tube two ready. I kind of decided in this scenario today not to muck about and start firing spreads of tigerfish when it mattered. Instead of trying to conserve ammunition. If I'd been a bit more aggressive with my torpedo spam, um, I might not have lost the Trafalgar last time. That's what I'm thinking, so. HMS Tireless has emerged victorious from this particular confrontation, it seems. And we can now leave. Tango and Foxtrot both sunk. There were no other... U uh, I almost called it U-boat then. No more U-boats are around. We're, we're, this is, we're a German channel now. No. <laughs> there are no more... Uh, no more subs. 11 tigerfish remaining. Three mosses. Four harpoons. And the toad ray has been buggered. Great effort destroying enemy submarines, transporting specs, and as commandos. Stand by for new orders on this downlink. With pleasure. Soviet sub hit off coast. A NATO public affairs officer announced today that a Russian submarine operating near Hofen had been discovered and attacked by uh, Allied units earlier in the week. The, although the spokesman refused to speculate on the intended mission of the enemy vessel, it was clear that it was attempting some sort of covert operation. Some concern was raised by politicians that an, an enemy submarine had been allowed to get so close to critical... Yeah, it's Peter Bones at it again. Ignore that, man. Um... Right. Soviet ballistic missile submarines. Oh, goody. Preparing to sortie to their firing positions in the Barents Sea. You must infiltrate their bastion northeast of Severny Island, find and sink them before they can strike at Konus targets. If you fail this mission, you may not have a home base to return to. Primary objective, transit to patrol area red 638. Locate and sink the enemy ballistic missile submarines. Oh my god, they're going to launch nukes. Well, the crew of the tireless is not as experienced as the crew of Trafalgar were, but they're going to have to do the job. Folks, I believe this is this is the grand finale. This is uh, what you might call the final boss battle. Um, well, there's probably not enough time to go back and uh, 
and uh, get more torpedoes. We're going to have to make do with 11 tigerfish. Oh boy. And I assume we're going to have to try and sink a typhoon with tigerfish. Oh boy. Red 638. Remember how I talked about earlier how it'd be really nasty if you had to go all the way into, uh, <laughs> into the red grid squares? Oh boy. Okay, save. Red 638. Oh god, it's this one up here. Oh good. Oh boy. Okay. Alright. Alright, no pressure, guys. No pressure. No pressure at all. If we, uh, if we fail this mission, you know, the United Kingdom will be a nuclear wasteland. Um, possibly also... Well, it said CONUS, didn't it? So, Continental US. Okay, slightly less pressure. If we fail this mission, the Continental United States will be wiped out. But, we don't live in the Continental United States, so... Uh, I mean, you know, you'd be a bit politically embarrassing if a British sub failed to stop the Russians from blowing up the United States. But on the bright side, there wouldn't be United States left to be angry with us. So, you know... All I'm saying is it could be worse. Okay, America. You remember that scene from The Simpsons? Okay. <laughs> the future one where Lisa goes to see a fortune teller and then and then she has this English boyfriend. And it's been years since I've seen this. And then Homer, Homer says to him, Ah, well, we saved your ass in World War II, buddy. And then the British guy says, Well, we saved your ass in World War III. Apparently, this is what he was referring to. Uh, well, we hope. We need to book it over there <laughs> first. <laughs> oh, God, there's all these bears flying around trying to find us as well. Um, right, let's cross up here close to Spitsbergen. Avoid that satellite. Avoid these patrol craft. Thank you. All right, we've snuck into their Arctic Bastion, folks. There it is. There they are. Okay, our speed is 10 knots. That's not ideal. Oh, boy. Exostatus report. Okay, good. We've got four tigerfish loaded. We have a moss. We have no toad array. Um, but we can't. We can live without a toad array. A toad array is nice to have, but we can live without it. Um, I hope. All right, let's do this, boys. I'm pff, balls to the walls here. I the, the balls to the wall here. I, there's no reason not to use all of our moss if we have to. Um, it's all or nothing. I'm actually really nervous. I don't quite know what to expect from this. I've never gotten this far on a NATO campaign before. <laughs> right, let's do this. An immediate... Oh, says Con, I think we've been detected. That's a great start, isn't it? Uh... Con, sonar reports ice ahead. Okay, we got ice ahead. That's a thing. Oh, yeah. We're right under the ice, in fact. Um, but there's also big icebergs that we need to avoid, too. I'm going to assume we've got... Oh, no, we don't have lots of seafloor to play with. Oh, God. Make depth three, zero, zero, die by. Zero. All right, let's Nine, see. What have we got? Oh, they're already pinging. Okay, Con things are about to get spicy. Three is On the bright side, we have a big pack of ice in front of us that might be able to protect us from torpedoes. We have a Victor 3. Con sonar, Sierra 1. <laughs> oh, boy! I was hoping it would be some obsolete diesels. Oh Sierra, boy. One. Here we go. I can't even see the ice out in front of us there. I have no idea where it is. Only we've got these blips on the map and that's all you have to work with. Alright, we have a wire. Con, sonar. Launch transient from Sierra, I'm gonna try one. and place this Con, ice between sonar, us Sierra, and the enemy. Is cavitating. And see if it helps. 
Meanwhile, I need to figure out what these things are. Do you know, I think this one's a trawler or something. I mean, just look at the profile. Well, maybe not, actually. Oh, God, what are you? I don't know. Moving on. That looks like another Victor 3. Con sonar. Sierra Where's the missile sub? Classified as submerged submarine. There should be a typhoon out here somewhere. Which is, that's the profile we're looking for. I don't know what this thing is. Okay, it's not a trawler. It's not a trawler. What is it? What are you? Son of a... Biscuit, man. What is this thing? It's a Delta Three. Okay, not a typhoon then. Con sonar. It's a Delta Three SSBN. The turtle-backed Delta class have formed the bulk of the Soviet ballistic missile submarine deterrent since the early 1970s. Okay. First to build the submarines with the ability to fire any number of missiles in a single salvo. It's got Vodapads, pads. It's got UZ80s. It's got Test 71s, Set 40s, whatever they do. Okay. Okay. On the bright side, if they're using Vodder pads, they'd, well, you know, if they try to use Vodder pads, it's not going to work when we're below the ice, I don't think. Alright, take a fish. So glad we kept the wire. Tell you what, one knot. Make turns for one knot. Maneuvering eye. There's the Victor three, two Victor threes, and there's the Delta three. Uh, less than fifty feet below the keel. Yes, I know we're bloody shallow. Shut up. There, I'll come up to 290 if it makes you a bit feel a bit better. Zero, die by. Oh, I hope this ice protects me. I really do. Else we are in trouble. Come left to 105. Helm I. should come up a bit higher actually I can't really see the ice visually so I don't I don't have any data on like how deep it is which is kind of annoying because what I'd love is for his torpedoes to go straight into the ice although it kind of looks like he's fired to try and get them to go around it so don't know Victor. One of them. Con, sonar reports ice ahead. Alright, if it's reporting ice ahead now, probably means we're at the right depth to try and use it as a shield. Okay, one of the torp torp torps has gone active. Come left to one, four, three, helm I. I'm very tempted to try and get this uh, this tigerfish to run the gauntlet and go for the delta, actually. Delta's slow. Passing 
Let me guess, it's why I guided still? Alright. I should have done this earlier, but... Shoot two, five. Aye, sir. Off goes the moss! Okay, not good, not good, not good. Damage control party, lead of the reactor space. <sighs> Passing 600 feet on, sonar reports ice ahead. Why, I don't know why I didn't launch the moss as soon as they detected Passing us, actually. Feet. Whoa, there's a lot of ice about. Okay. Con maneuvering, making turns for one, zero knots. Come right to. Two, three, eight. Helm, I. Con, torpedo room, tube five ready. Oh no. They're after us again. Con, helm, steady course. Shoot tube five. Aye, sir. Alright, reload the last moss. Ah, uh, yeah, and the engine room's buggered, so our speed is really low. No! Oh, God! Con sonar lost contact. Sierra, one. Last bearing, one, two, three. Contact. Right, go after that moss, please. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra, two. Last bearing, one, two, nine. Contact. Come left to two, zero, eight. It's going for the moss. <gasps> oh boy! Passing 600 feet. Okay, looks like one of the, the, the tigerfish did acquire something, uh, which is nice. I doubt it'll get him, but it acquired something. Means he's going defensive. On. Pumps have been repaired. All right, pumps are repaired. Good, good, good. Um, Damage control parties. Lay to the engine room. Con helm. Um, I have a horrible feeling that Con, torpedo room, tube five ready. our engine room is totally fucked. It's in black, Con, sonar, which means we're stuck at ten knots, two, bearing, one, which two, eight. I cannot even begin to tell you how bad news that is. I mean, that is just seriously, seriously bad news. <laughs> We have to sink this delta. If we, we can sink the delta and then sneak away, that would be best. Con, Let's have a look at the bugger. Steady course. Ooh, solution's not quite good enough. There we go. That's Con, what it looks like. He's a weird looking submarine. Sierra, one. Last bearing, one, one, nine. Contact breaking. Oh, up. hallelujah. The one tiger fish that could. And we we had the good fortune of launching it at him. Alright, okay. One victor is down. Why did they have to be the engine room? Why? Well, at least it wasn't the tubes, I guess. Con, dive at two, four, four, Does the nine, Delta know where we are? Uh, he may know where we are, or he may not. I don't know whether or not his active got above 10 at any point. The Victor probably knows where we are. Give or take a bit. Quiet. No 
There's reason to make this any easier for him. Yeah, Mr. Delta, turn this way. That's a grand idea. Okay, well, it looks like they've negotiated their way past the ice so far. Hopefully they're nice and confused by the mosses. We do have only one moss left, right? Yeah. Need to be careful about when I use that. Oh boy. Time compression? I almost can't bear it. I don't know how many hits the Delta's going to need to go down, honestly. It's not a typhoon, which is honestly good. As cool as it would have been to see the typhoon, the typhoon would be a lot harder to sink. That thing was built to take tank torpedo hits. Um, it had like a double hull and all sorts of crazy stuff going on. The thing was the size of a battleship as well. Like, you need like at least two or three good hits with some heavyweight torpedoes to bring them down. The Delta, on the other hand, that's an old sub. That's an old sub. I think they're distracted by our moss. Though the victor... Uh, it's difficult to say what he's thinking. It's like he almost can't make his mind up. Oh, he might actually be a lot closer than he appeared. No, actually, he's not. He was right there. We had a trail for him and everything. I'm going to put a dot there. Uh, yeah, the solution just got a bit wonky there. Probably because of some ice or something. I'm not sure. Slows down to one knot. Make turns for... One knot. And put another dot here for where the delta was. Con maneuvering. Making turns for one knot. Got a feeling the delta is. Yep, he's trying to he's trying to book it now. He knows there's a torpedo after him. Uh, how much time to run do we have on this thing? I think I think. Oh boy. Which way is it going? It's going towards the moss. All right. Good news. All right, I think we might have to send this tigerfish active because uh, I think the delta does 24 knots and so does the tigerfish when it's inactive. So. Indeed it does. I remembered correctly. So, yeah. If we're going to catch him up, I think I need to go active with it now. Fire control, weapon acquired. Nope, nope. We're not interested in the Victor. We're interested in the Delta. I mean, the Victor wouldn't be bad to sink, but the Delta is an absolute must-have, uh, especially since I can't catch it now with my engine room buggered. Uh, conditions. Bring the torpedo up a bit. In fact, the Delta seems to be diving slightly. Okay, I think we've acquired it. Time to run 11 minutes. He's turning. Tigerfish lost him there. He's diving as well. Let's go down there after him. I think he was right at the edge of the seeker cone and then he changed depth and that's maybe why it lost it. Sadly, this one seems to be going off into the middle of nowhere, which is a bit of a shame. All right, he's popping noisemakers. That's how we know he's in trouble. I think he popped that one a little too early, though. Go 
God bless the moss. God bless America for giving us a moss. <laughs> Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, zero, nine, three. Okay, torpedo's still tracking him and not the noisemaker for now. Oh boy. Here we go. You can already tell this tiger fish looks like it might be about to miss if I don't do something. I'd like to hit him in the engine room if we can. Get him right in the propulsion. She looks kind of like we might do. <gasps> Come on! He hasn't gone down, but I bet that did some damage. Shoot two, one. I Hallelujah. Kept the tube, uh, the, the the wire. Con sonar launch transient from Sierra three. Okay, Sierra three just launched. Uh, I think he launched at the moss though. Must have erroneously assumed the moss was firing at him. Okay, Mr. Delta, what are you doing? He's slowing down. He's slowing down. Okay. Just want to make sure Trafalgar isn't going to go headfirst into an iceberg because that would be possibly the most embarrassing way to end this uh, end this playthrough. I, I, do you know what? There might not be an iceberg. I don't really. I've not been in Arctic waters often enough in this game to really understand how the ice detection works. Because <laughs> frankly, it looks like it might be just detecting the ice sheet above us. But I know you can get icebergs that run quite deep, but they're quite easy to spot usually, like visually. So. Okay. Okay, the Victor's hey, coming head on at this thing. It's going to be time to drop another moss pretty soon, I think. We're not interested in you, Mr. Victor. We're interested in the Delta. Sort of allowing me to dogleg it here, so they might get the. They might, if they, if they try to guess where the, the, the torpedo came from, they're hopefully going to guess completely incorrectly. So the best he can do is 21 knots right now, the Delta. Alright, weapons. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. The fate of the world rests upon this one shoddily manufactured. British torpedo, ladies and gentlemen. If that doesn't make you sweat nervously, I don't know what will. Keep depth with this guy. He's trying his best to wiggle out of this. We have acquired him, though. Victor 3 is prowling for us. Okay, he did launch a noisemaker, but we're not going to go for that. We're not taking that bait. Going to try and guide the torpedo towards the uh, interception dot there, I think. As it continues trying to wiggle away from my control and towards the sub and the noisemaker. You gonna go for the sub or the noisemaker, buddy? I can't really tell. Well, this could have gone better so far. I probably should have just immediately gone evasive, but mistakes made in this mission so far. Should have launched the moss right away. 
Um, should have approached a bit slower on the campaign map and all, but I should have launched the moss right away. Uh, and I should have probably gone totally evasive when those uh, torpedoes started incoming. Um, I just, I was desperate not to lose that wire. And I don't know, so far we're still alive and the Delta's taken a hit, so maybe it was the right decision after all, we'll see. Oh boy, yeah, there's an iceberg. Uh, yeah, glad I looked at the camera, otherwise there was a chance we might have gone plowing straight into that. I wonder if he was trying to use it as cover. There we go. Gonna get away from it that easily, chum. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Here we go. Gonna hit him on the other side this time. Con, sonar lost contact. Right in the launch base. Or one, under them. Zero, one. Ladies and gentlemen, those nukes are going to the bottom of the Arctic Ocean where they probably don't belong, but I'd prefer they were there and not in the air. Uh now we try and sneak away. Emphasis on try. Come right to two, seven, four, We've five. saved the world. Now can we serve our own skins? That's the question. Because at the moment, this guy knows exactly where we are. Um, have a moss in... I'm going to fire a moss directly at him. Yes, our last moss. Shoot two, Off it five. goes. Hi, sir. I hope this doesn't prove to be a mistake. We get those reloaded. Come right to... Best possible speed, engine room. Zero knots. Maneuvering eye. Do we even have a blast, like a hole in the side? We don't. We don't have any visible damage from the outside, but uh, yes, the engine is buggered. Con sonar lost contact. Come right. Yeah, I knew we were gonna, that was going to happen. This is what not having a toad array does to you. Hopefully we can maybe reacquire him as I turn back around this way. I want to go sort of perpendicular to where the moss is going, so... Con, torpedo room, tube one ready. Con, helm, steady course. Come right to. Con, helm, steady course. Con, sonar, regained contact on. Sierra, three, bearing, zero, eight, I should have really put a marker down where it was. Never mind. Yeah, me another tiger fish. We just want to sneak away. We just want to sneak away. Get more than about 16 kilometers away from this guy. Um, I hope that's going for the moss. It looks like it might be. Um. 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 Um, me no like, me seriously no like. Come right to zero, zero, five, it's not going five. for us, but it's also not going for the moss. <laughs> Don't like it. Oh boy, if I hadn't changed direction then it might have acquired me. Oh, he just is not interested in that moss at all, is he? Oh, boy. Oh, God. Or is he? Is he turning around to go after it? What is he doing? Oh! Oh, boy! Come left to two, six, two. It's going to disappear on our baffles again. Con helm. Steady course. Come left to two, five, five, helm I. There he is again. You can hear it's real good on passive. Con sonar, launch 
transient from Sierra 3. Uh, I don't see it on the map anywhere, which worries me immensely. He's coming this way. Oh god. Oh god. Complete bastard, I hate you. We're all out of mosses now. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra three. Last bearing one zero five. Contact Does he stop pinging? The baffles. No, he's in the baffles. Shit. Come left to two four seven helm I. Okay, contact reestablished. Oh, now how I wish I had my toad array. Sitting there. This is perhaps wishful thinking, but what do you reckon the chances are that maybe he's received a message from Moscow telling him to stand down? Maybe? I mean, he's literally not moving. He's at, sp he's at zero knots right now. He's just pinging. Boy, okay. Come left to two zero seven. We've got incoming. Shoot two con sonar regained contact on Sierra three bearing zero con sonar launch transient from Sierra three. Con sonar launch transient. All right, from you can Sierra have the lot, three. mate. Con helm. Reload, reload. Managed to keep three wires. That's incredible. Con, torpedo room, tube two ready. But look at that thing come after me. Oh god. You know what I'm thinking? Make depth I'm thinking I want to be at escape nine. depth. <laughs> I don't know what escape depth is for this sub, but I want to be at it. Con, sonar reports ice ahead. Ice ahead, really. Uh how much ice? Serious ice. Come left that is almost one, certainly a U set 80, zero, and no, I don't I. think I can evade it, even if I had a fully functional engine room. There's a decoy. It's making no difference. Can you set 80s engaged surface targets? They probably can. Another one of those is going to finish us. Con, sonar reports ice ahead. Passing 300 feet. Take us up. Don't hit the ice. I guess the bonus of being this slow is that the wires aren't breaking quite so easily. Con, sonar reports ice ahead. Cannot go any faster. Make turns for one, zero, nine. Do you know what? The thing is, is torpedo's not actually active yet. It's still green. You don't think. <gasps> 
Oh Gott! It's past us. It's past us. It's past us. If I hadn't turned left, we'd be fucked, but we're okay. We're okay. It looks like it's a straight runner as well. Ooh. It's not coming back. Has he snapped his wire? Has he gone evasive? Yeah, he has gone evasive. He's been chased by tigerfish. Yeah, he's gone evasive. Oh my god, he aren't. Alright, we have three torpedoes with wires. This is the unlikeliest scenario imaginable. I don't think we've ever had three torpedoes with wires once in this entire campaign. He's lost another three in that direction. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Sense comparison, okay. His sensors are not doing so good right now. Oh, uh, they're changing though. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra three. Last bearing zero nine eight. Contact faded. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra three. Bearing zero nine eight. I think our sense comparison over here is not necessarily very uh, accurate right now. Let's just see what he does. Oh, is he heard the tiger fish inbound? I'm gonna put a marker right there. That's where he is right now. Just as a frame of reference. Okay. Three, what do you, what's the problem here? Why can't I move you? There we go. Gonna be outside of 16 kilometers pretty soon. He's running for it. Okay. I don't really care if he doesn't get if the torpedoes don't catch him, I just want them to chase him away. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra three. Last bearing one. Although heading Zero, into the path of three, these will not do any faded. any favors at all. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra three bearing one zero two. Con sonar lost contact Sierra three last bearing one zero one contact faded. Maybe he's here-ish right now. Oh, hello. Wasn't too far off. All right, you bastard. These torpedoes still have another 25 minutes to run on them. What are you going to do? can hear the dying delta in the background right now. Oh, he's booking it. But, like, in a non-committal kind of a way. All right, number three. Time for you to go active. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. All right, it's acquired him. The others keep following inactive. Please don't hit an iceberg as well, please. By the way, that would that would suck. 
Also, what are you doing? What the hell are you doing? There we go. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing. Right, one, he's popping noisemakers. He's three, he was there. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing. One, one, four. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing. One, one, six. He's over there somewhere. There he is. There he is. There you are, Ivan. We're coming for you. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing uh, uh, uh. one, one, six. There he is. After him. Con, fire, Get him right in the props fire. if you have to. We did it. Look at it sail over the top, ineffectively. <sighs> you know what, Sonny Jim? I'm gonna make extra sure you die. There we go. Now he's really dead. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Make depth one, two, die by. Raise the ESM mast. Con, dive at one, two, die by. Lower the ESM mast. Depth, zero Take us up. Yeah, that's okay. Come right to zero nine two. Help. Make turns for. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we've saved the world. HMS Tireless has saved the world. Bad shot, that actually. Thumbnail material on that one, perhaps, I think. <sighs> We've done it. We've friggin' done it. Leave combat. Delta 3 sunk, Victor 3 sunk, Victor 3 sunk. We had two tigerfish remaining. Our propulsion is buggered. Our turret array is toast. But we did it. Excellent job. On intercepting and destroying red ballistic missile subs, the country owes you and your crew an unbelievable debt of gratitude. New orders to be transmitted on this downlink. Red Rebellion. Tens of thousands of protesters, mostly in the Caucasus, Latvia and Estonia, have spilled into the streets demanding democratic elections and an end to the ongoing conflict with the West. Reports are still sketchy, but witnesses claim the severe crackdown by local authorities have done nothing but incite further protests. The political destabilisation behind the Iron Curtain has had a noticeable trickle-down effect on the front lines and NATO forces have taken advantage of the situation. So Soviet opposition appears to be wavering as defections across the lines into the West are increasing day by day. War gets civil. The war with the West has come to an abrupt halt as the Soviet Union fractures, with some regions even falling into civil war. 
NATO forces have moved quickly, regaining lost ground all the way back to pre-war borders. Attempts are made to contact the volatile situation, sorry, contain the volatile situation and, the, and aid civilians streaming out of the former Soviet Union. This unexpected end to the conflict comes as a shock to analysts who admit the power of the people has been grossly overlooked. Although economically weakened and with her satellite states breaking off, Russia remains a formidable military for power, but for now, the Cold War is over. Achievements to date. Commander Edward Cook, HMS Tireless S-88. We were at war for 44 days. We accomplished 17 missions. We sunk four capital ships, eight warships. 34 submarines, six merchants, including one unfortunate trawler, <laughs> for a total of 52 ships sunk. Our capital ship tonnage was 92,000 tons. Our other warship tonnage was 28,000 tons. Submarine tonnage, 168,000 tons. Merchant tonnage, 48,000 tons. And our total tonnage, 336,670 tons. Final outcome. Upon returning home, you are hailed as a war hero, receiving requests for interviews and numerous other public appearances. The rapid collapse of the Soviet Union has ended the Cold War and ushered in an era of lasting peace. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Sorcerer Dave and this has been Cold Waters with Dot Mod, which allowed us to play the HMS Trafalgar and HMS Tireless campaign. We did lose the venerable Trafalgar, but we made it to the end anyway. Good old Tireless didn't let us down. After our very, very lucky escape from our first sinking. Uh, I don't know what else to say other than I am I am so desperately relieved that we made it all the way to the end because I had a feeling it was getting so close. And I had this sinking feeling, pun not intended, that maybe we weren't going to go all the way. I felt like maybe I was going to get sunk by some cheeky tango or something again. But ladies and gentlemen, we did it. We friggin' did it. Captain Cook... First Officer Owen Bradshaw and the crew of the Tireless and the erstwhile crew of the Trafalgar have uh, acquitted themselves tremendously well. There will be history books written about this loss, I have no doubt, in the future. And uh, Her Majesty's Submarine Service has also acquitted itself incredibly well. Achieving in many cases what apparently the Americans had no time to do. Uh, we were the only submarine who got anything done as far as we know and we did save the world from a rogue delta submarine armed with nukes ready to fire at the united states so that's good too <sighs> there's other things i'd probably like to say but i'll think of them later after i finish recording aside from that though ladies and gentlemen thank you very much it's been an absolute pleasure playing this for you um heart stopping at times but an absolute pleasure regardless cold wars is a fantastic game um the dot mod for it is also brilliant i'm i'm given to understand the latest versions of dot mod are even better and i can't wait now that i finish this series i can uninstall this version and get the latest version of dot mod and start playing around with that and i'm very keen to do so um see what's new and what's changed but that begs the question, what do we do next? Um, well, there's there are lots of things we could do next. There's plenty more Cold Waters to play. We could do a Soviet campaign, for example. There is the 1968 campaign, which is, uh, well, if you thought this was challenging, the 60s campaign is something else. Um, additionally, there's the South China Sea campaign set in the year 2000, which um, is also very, very interesting because the, uh, the South China Sea campaign would allow us to once again take command of a Trafalgar-class submarine but it would be a later model of the submarine with improved systems and, rather crucially, it would be equipped with the Spearfish torpedo and not the Tigerfish. So it might be quite fun to do a, a South China Sea campaign in the future as the Royal Navy and check out the, ti uh, the, the, sorry, the Spearfish and see just how improved it is over the Tigerfish. Spoilers, it is a serious, serious improvement. The Spearfish is an absolute monster of a weapon system. Um... But, of course, the difficult thing about the South China Sea campaign is that you're pretty much exclusively operating in very shallow water the entire time. That's what makes it quite challenging. 
So those are all the different things we could do. Um, and additionally, there's other there's other submarine games like this. There's obviously the Silent Hunter series. Um, uh, I have thought about playing U-Boat on the channel once or twice, but uh, I have a lot of issues with U-Boat. Um, so that's probably a little unlikely until um, something changes on that front. But there's always the Silent Hunter series. I've always kind of wanted to do a, 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 an Iron Man playthrough of Silent Hunter 4 specifically. Silent Hunter 3 is awesome as well, but Silent Hunter 4 very specifically, which is the Wolves of the Pacific, that is, where you take command of a uh, an American submarine in the Second World War in the Pacific Ocean, um, dealing with the Japanese. Um, I've always wanted to do a career of that and try and survive right through to the end of the war in 1945. Um, so that might be something I do one of these days. Although, it's, as a game, it's considerably more hardcore than Cold Wars, uh, especially if you mod it, and I always tend to do so. Yeah, lots of options if you want more submarine content, of course. Um, if you want to see more of this right now, uh, you could go check out Wolfpack345's channel. He does loads and loads of this stuff. Um, I did mention him in my 100k subs video where I did some shoutouts to other channels that I really enjoy, but if you haven't checked out Wolfpack's channel, you should definitely do that. If you want some, uh, if you want some more submarine stuff with a bit of a narrative bend to it, a bit like I did here. All right, I think that's it, everybody. Round of applause for Captain Cook and the crew of the Tireless. And I will see you in the next series whenever that happens to be, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this has been great. And I've run out of words. Have a good one, everybody. Catch you next time. Toodaloo.